Okay, so just people know how I'm uh, getting this geometric median thing. There's a... Uh, this is the map. And uh, each point on this map is someone who responded to this questionnaire. I have names here, they're blacked out just in case someone doesn't want to have people know what state or where they live in or whatever the fuck. 57 respondees. Uh, the one, two, three, four, five, five people in Europe. I'm basically kind of <laughs> ignoring uh, them just because they're going to have a fairly similar price plane ticket no matter what region this is in. Uh, it probably like will only change by like a couple hundred uh, if you like increase the distance from like, you know, if you go from like Toronto to even I don't know, Tennessee or somewhat further. So uh, each of these uh, pins is the capital and uh, the old capital of the province or state. And uh, blue is one. The lighter, like cyan kind of green, is two. The green green is three. And then that one for red or orange is 13. That's in Toronto. And I think that Toronto's kind of overrepresented in this because that's where the last NASA was held. If I did in a form like this after the first NASA, probably even more people from Chicago would have answered. But uh, let's uh, redo this. So this is a site I'll link. It just finds the geometric median. Uh, and I would basically just go through all of these and put in the people one two one two one in Texas three in Florida for Florida specifically that I think they're in more near Orlando than Tallahassee uh, so this does have some degree of error where you know all the, the people might not necessarily be in the uh, capital but it's you know it's pretty fairly representative I don't think it would skew it too much to here one one, one, two. So right now, excluding Toronto, it's uh, looks like it's somewhere in Michigan, maybe like closer to Chicago. And then when I add in the for Ontario, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You get London, uh, Ontario, basically, but because of the error involved with, you know, some of the people might be in Orlando instead of Tallahassee, it, it, you shouldn't treat it as uh, exact. It's kind of like a, you could draw a circle, probably like uh, within this ish range. Which is why uh, Toronto and Cleveland are the uh, two closest to the median. Or basically, you could say they're like inside the circle. Uh, no one really said... I guess, yeah, Ty Please said Detroit in the uh, uh, thread, which is an option. But uh, either just go back to Toronto, Cleveland. Chicago's not too far away. We could go back there as well. Uh, right now I'm kind of like, me personally, I'm, I would favor Cleveland. The NASA staff were from Toronto, would probably favor Toronto. And there's one guy, uh, Dark Fox, he's in the Baltimore area, which is still driving distance to Cleveland, which is, if you look at it, it's like this, this area is where like most people would be like, are driving distance from, uh, which is good. So that's kind of like the 
what the point of it is. But that's how I uh, found it, the geometric median. And that's why, uh, yeah, having it at Orlando, it's pretty far away. Like, I'd like to have a NASA there eventually. Same with, uh, where's Valencia? I think it's around here. Just Valencia has six slides of Magic Mountain, which is really awesome. Shit, I, like, if people are for it, I'd have it in Cancun, Havana, like, I, I, whatever. It's pretty much just wherever uh, people want to go. The restrictions are, it's like, can we get equipment there to stream? And uh, is there a venue that we can do it at? Uh, for Cleveland specifically, since it is a little out of the way, I know uh, two people have said they're from Ohio. I'd probably ask them if they could go check out any hotels we'd want to look at, just to make sure we don't get trash or have the NASA 6 2016 issue where, like, the internet was shit. So having someone to check it is kind of a necessity. So, yeah, that's uh, the gist.